mask. Sure. Um, this is my son. I lost my two sons in this pandemic. 34 and 36 years old, but those lives don't seem to matter. Do you mind talking to the camera? Not at all. Um, and it was... It was no, it was overdoses. They were poisoned with fentanyl. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, if, you, if you don't want to identify yourself, uh, you don't have to. I'm just going to give you the camera. Uh, this, so is, this is my son, Jake. He was 34 years old. He died January 1st, New Year's Day of 21. Um, his little girl turned a year old Christmas Eve. He died home of a fentanyl overdose. Um, his cocaine was poisoned with fentanyl. He had been in recovery. He had been working. He had been having a really good year for the, one of the best years he'd had in a long time. And then these shutdowns came along and uh, no more work, no more gyms, no more uh, AA meetings. And on top of all of that, the medicine he was using was made illegal. Ibogaine, something that cures addiction in the middle of a pandemic the liberal government made it illegal and he died. Seven months later, I lost my older son, 36 years old, the same thing, a fentanyl overdose. His job was gone, couldn't leave the house. Like this is what this is what Trudeau has done. This is what these lockdowns have done. To the people of Ottawa, all of you that have been supporting us and there have been many, 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 from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you. And to all of the ones of you that have been annoyed at me coming to my capital city and are annoyed by the horns, well, when we leave, the horns will leave and your life will go back to normal. My life will never go back to normal. My life has been changed and altered forever. You're staying for the long haul? The long haul. I drove here from Calgary and I'm not leaving till it's over. What, what, what do I have to lose? I go with my sons. You know, my daughter made a speech on the streets of Calgary for overdose awareness. And she told those people, they tell you the system is broken. She said, make no mistake, the system is not broken. It's working exactly the way they want it to work. The jails are full, the hospitals are full. They're selling prescription uh, drugs like they're smarties. It's not broken. The rich is getting richer and we're getting poorer and sicker. What disease do they cure? They don't cure diabetes. They don't cure cancer. What, what is it they cure? You, you go to them, you're depressed. They give you a medication that the warnings are suicidal thoughts, homicidal thoughts. You gain 40 pounds. You can't have an orgasm. You no longer have a short term memory. And now you should be happy. That's a pill to make you happy. This world's got to change. We need the blue collar workers running this country. These truckers pull this shit together in a couple of weeks. People have never met, felt more safe, more secure, more loved, more at home. People on the streets feel at home. You know, the, 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 the crime rate has gone down 90% in Ottawa. So what do they do? They call in police from all over the country to pay them with your hard earned tax dollars to guard a bunch of free freedom lovers. And, and then they want and then they want to charge the convoy for the cost of its of the cost of their police that they brought down. Yes. Meanwhile, they're feeding the homeless. You don't see the homeless anywhere uh, wandering around by themselves anymore. They're all here with us. All here with us. I am. What else do I got to do? I don't want to see another mother go through what I'm going through. A new study out of Johns Hopkins University suggests pandemic lockdowns were not effective at reducing mortality rates globally. 